Hey guys, I'm here on the Hypermind server once again. I am in the Japanese area and I am ready to start a huge project. Over here is the beginnings of a five-story pagoda or temple. Um, when I lived in Japan in Yamaguchi, there was a five-story temple and I'm going to try and recreate that temple. Um, I have a picture of it. I'm going to put it in here. And it's not going to be perfect, okay, because uh, we don't have all the blocks, and I'm not going to make it as huge as I would need to make it to look exactly perfect. Also, if you can see the door, uh, that's just to keep people out, so I'm not going to make it look like that as well. I want it to be kind of a functional temple. So we're going to get started, and I hope you enjoy the process. For those of you out there who are like me and like to watch people complete a huge project um, in a time lapse, I am going to put out another video of me building the entire thing. This one is going to be a much shortened version of the entire build, which took me multiple days to do and um, <laughs> was quite a long video even after I edited it at 500% of normal speed. So enjoy what you have here. And um, if you wanna see the whole entire process, be looking for that video coming out shortly.
All right, I think we've got it to a point now where we can start uh, the first roof. So I've got to get some more supplies gathered. And so I think we're going to take BRB. Hopefully you guys enjoyed me putzing around with it. I gotta go find these mobs that are underneath here too. Because it's driving me crazy listening to them. So I'll be right back.
I looked at the pictures of the temple again, and I decided to come up with this design. Oops, hold on. This design for the rest of the next four stories. It's similar to this one, um, but it's not as light and uh, the, the middle ones are not as chunky, but it does look very similar to the pictures that um, I took when I was there. Um, the wood is rather weathered here on the bottom panels, and then there's a big cross beam, and then there's these kind of stair-shaped things. I think on the inside here, because you're not really going to be able to see it. I think I'm going to put a dark or oak trap door there. So I don't have to go in as much as I did with these um, dark black stones. I think we'll just keep the wall smooth all the way up. So basically what I need to do to finish off this five-story pagoda is I'm just going to put the stairs on the front walls. And then the other walls I think I'm just going to have... Um, the bottom layer be the acacia and then the black stone. And so I just need to build the walls, do another one of these roof, roofs, build the walls, do another one of these roofs, and keep going. So I'm going to have to redo it like five times more. So I am almost finished here. All I need to do is put on the top part of the pagoda, all five, one, two, three, four, five of the roofs, roofs are finished. And so <laughs> it's a little difficult to exactly copy what it looks like um, in real life, but we're going to do our best. And I forgot my netherite. Dang it. Hang on. I know this is an expensive tower top. Luckily, uh, the server gave us some for Christmas. Where is it? Hold on. I think I put it in here for safekeeping so it didn't die with it on me. Okay. I had two of my own and then the, the um, server gave us some for Christmas. Or Lapis Lori did? I'm not sure whether which one it was. And that's going to be the base of the tower. Um, the first one is like the, the, the little base base. And then this one kind of looked like a flower. So this is the best I could do <laughs> with the supplies that we have. I wish these would go vertically instead of horizontally, but they don't. Perfect. And I know it's dying, but that's exactly what I wanted it to look like. Okay, I did try cobwebs too. Uh, let's, I guess I can use these stairs to pillar up a little bit. Because I need to get on top of this in a minute. Um, right. Uh. Okay. And then we're going to put that one on top there. Right? Okay, hang on. I have this built. I need to, to look at the, the picture that I took of what I was thinking. Okay. Now we go with these hoppers. I wish I could put them upside down, but, you know, you can't. So this is the best I could do. Let's get there. Oh, this is going to be... Okay. <laughs> oh, this is going to be interesting. I think I'm going to have to go up the entire way. Pillar up the entire way. I'm not going to have enough, am I? I will. I so planned for this. No, I actually did. I had all the supplies. Okay, wait, hold on. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight. And then the last one, nine. And then it had another like flower thing. And I thought these kind of looked interesting. They, from f a distance, they kind of look flowery or whatever. So we'll put those on. Nice. And then there's like a bar and two balls on top. So we'll get the iron bar and then a ball, right? Are you seeing it? I know this is an expensive topper and then another iron bar Oop. and then a ball. Uh, I'm getting so high here. Come on. You could do it, firecracker. And then the top of it is this and that. Perfect. All right, let's go down. Where's my, aha. Uh -huh. Let's go down. And then we'll shoot across to the other side and see how it looks. And then I, I won't have to get up here again, so I can close off the inside. So if you notice, the interior of my um, pagoda is empty, except for this vertical column that um, goes up the middle. And as I was doing my research on these pagodas, it's kind of an earthquake thing, so it's not attached to any of the stories except for the top. So this is what the inside of a real pagoda would look like. It's all empty all the way up. And each one of the roofs is for a different element, air, earth, water, fire, whatever. So it's kind of cool. You should, you should check it out. And there's it. There it is. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm, I'm having an emotional moment. Holy crap. It's been a long time, but I think that looks pretty freaking cool. Oh my gosh, guys. Okay. So <laughs> Now all I really need to do is, it looks like I really need to light up the inside there, but I'm going to, to work on the landscaping. That's going to be a whole nother video. This has been a labor of love, guys. It's taken a long time. I rebuilt that bottom, I don't know how many times because my software, my recording software kept messing up and each one of these roofs took a long time. Uh, I did it all in survival. I'm super proud of myself. I think it looks amazing. I think it's a good replica of what the pagoda that I visited looked like. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you on the next Hypermine. Bye-bye.